there Bulldog Country, this week we're talking with Junior on the volleyball team Mandy Kurowski about the upcoming season as well as her journey as a Bulldog so far. For UMD, take another look at it, Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. Five. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corrin flipped it in there. Aya follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. I'm Mandy Karoski. I'm from Duluth, Minnesota, and I'm a junior on the volleyball team. So the Bulldogs currently have a record of 7-1. You did have a tournament the first weekend of September in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, mm -hmm. as well as last weekend in Michigan where you guys did win four games in a row. What were the expectations going into those two tournaments and do you think you guys kind of met those expectations? I would definitely say we met those expectations. I think against St. Leo when we lost, that was the only match we lost, um, we were trying to minimize our errors. Those were our two goals before season actually started where you get into conference play and we had a lot of arrows in, the, in those games and we couldn't really keep up with the pace of that but other than that I think besides that one hiccup we really did do a good job of minimizing our errors and you know being really aggressive and taking every team to only three sets so and going into that tomorrow is actually going to be the first home game against mm -hmm. Minnesota Crookston what are the nerves like and the expectations going yeah. into this game as well um, nerves are high. Uh, expectations are also high though. I mean we always want to do well in conference play and it's awesome that we get to be at our home court for the first game with Crookston. Um, we're hoping to win, hoping to really just minimize our errors and play our game and make them earn their points. So. And even going off of that, do you hope that that continues for the rest of the season as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think with the starting lineup that we have, we are very dynamic. We have a lot of players who are big contributors. I mean, last weekend we had three people on all tournament team. Um, so if we play our game and if we're clean and we minimize our errors, it'll be a good year. You are a redshirt junior this year, having just transferred to UMD from Northern State. Were yeah. there any nerves for you personally transferring to a team that you once played against? There were a lot of nerves. Um, Honestly, when I left Northern, I was so scared to come here because I didn't know what it was going to be like. I'm a very obnoxious person. I wear my like emotions on my sleeves when I play volleyball, and so I was a little bit nervous about that. Um, but it turned out way better than I thought. The girls were really accepting, and I've, it's been a lot of fun here. And can you tell us what it was that ultimately led to your decision to come to Duluth? Yeah, well, out of high school, I, I knew, obviously, UMD was really good at volleyball, and I had always dreamed of playing here when I was younger. Um, I wanted to get away, went to Northern, ended up having two really fun seasons. Um, I had shoulder surgery, and, like, a lot of family stuff was going on. My grandpa ended up dying um, just about a week before our season was over, and so I just made the decision then to come back and be close to family and hopefully play here, which ended up working out. So. And you are from Duluth, correct? Yeah, it's my hometown. And through this transfer process, has there been a coaching staff member or a teammate in particular that has really helped you get into the swing of things as a Bulldog? Yeah, I would say definitely the coaching staff, like uh, Kristen May, the assistant coach, and then Kate Lang, the graduate assistant. They were both my coaches in high school for club volleyball. Um, so they really helped me with my classes and stuff and knowing where to go and all that stuff last semester because I couldn't be a part of the team so I didn't know any of the girls or anything but this semester the team's just been really supportive and helpful. And although you are on the sidelines this season as a red shirt, can you tell us what your role is on the team in terms of leadership being an upperclassman? Yeah I would think my role would definitely just be to bring energy to the floor no matter what for practices my role is definitely to challenge the starting side and you know make them work on things which is a lot of fun and then for home games and stuff it's just to have a lot of energy and cheer them on and pretty much have fun. And in your short time at UMD is there a particular memory that has been your favorite as a Bulldog so far? I would say practice. Uh, just sitting, sitting out last semester not even being able to practice with the team. I would come and watch practices sometime but I couldn't even like be on the floor. 
uh, just practicing with them and being back in the swing of NSIC volleyball. Now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Mandy a little bit better, so we are going to ask you a series of rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I would want to fly because then I won't have to drive to campus because there's no parking. What is your least favorite food? Ooh, sauerkraut. It smells disgusting. What is your favorite song? Uh, anything country. Are you a good dancer? A horrible dancer. Horrible. Who, who is the funniest person you know? Kelly Madison. <laughs> what is your favorite hobby other than volleyball? I love playing with dogs. I have, I have a dog. What is your dream job? To be a probation officer for the mental health court. And lastly, if you were stranded on a deserted island and had to choose one of your teammates to be stranded with, who would it be and why? Kelly Madison. We'd probably die because we're both really stupid, but we'd have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tune in next week to see who the next featured athlete is going to be and subscribe below to support your UMD athletics.